Hey everyone, today I want to talk about how you should mix up your encounter difficulty to keep the adventure interesting for the players. These tips come from page 104 of the 4th edition Dungeon Master's Guide. Check the description for the full playlist. If you want a copy of the book for yourself, I will put a link down in the description as well. As a general rule, Dungeon Masters are not out to kill the party. The goal is to have an interesting encounter that everyone enjoys and the party is able to navigate. Challenging is good, but deadly is not ideal, at least not all the time. This section of the book has some really great advice to consider. First, we need to understand the encounter difficulty as it relates to the party level. We can get this by using the assorted encounter building tools available to us in whatever edition of the game that we're playing. Monsters within two to three levels of the party would make up a standard or medium encounter. Monsters that are more than three levels lower than the party level would be used in easy or even trivial encounters. Hard encounters would have monsters that are more than three levels above the party level. And if you have a monster that's more than six levels above the party level, then it is a good chance that that is a deadly encounter. We then need to understand how many encounters of each difficulty we should have. This section provides a handy table to help guide you on how many encounters of each difficulty the party should face at each level. Keep in mind that this table is designed for D&D 4th edition, but these are not hard and fast rules. This is just good guidance to help you with whatever edition that you're using. You can see that you should aim to have at least one easy encounter, one deadly encounter, three medium encounters, and three hard encounters as the party progresses through a level. If you're using milestone advancement, then this would be a good pace for your characters. If you're using XP advancement, then that distribution of encounters will likely give the characters enough experience points to reach the next level. Finally, you need to mix it up. The challenging part about encounter difficulty is that you cannot just look at each encounter individually. You need to step back and look at where this encounter sits in regard to all the other encounters. If a party goes from one hard encounter to the next, at a minimum, the players might get worn out. But even worse, you might accidentally kill the party as the characters will not have all of their resources and abilities available to them. There are situations where this can be fun, but generally you want to mix it up so that the players can have a breather after the really intense fights. Be aware that while some of this relates to combat encounters, the rules hold for any encounter type. If you have a social encounter that you would consider to be a hard challenge, then make sure you give the party something easier to work with immediately afterwards. They will thank you for it. Know the difficulty of all the encounters, create the right combination of difficulty levels, and mix it up so that the players have a good time. Master these things and your sessions will be exciting for everyone. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and let me know down in the comments how you manage difficulty level for your encounters. Until next time, take care.